Today's title is The Not So Great or Terrible Oz for the, all those Wizard of Oz fans. Most of us will remember the scene from The Wizard of Oz in which Oz, the Great and Terrible, is revealed to be an illusion produced by a bumbling and anxious man behind a curtain, pulling levers and pushing buttons. He had kept the whole world enthralled by fakery, by a projection of great terribleness. I can't think of a better image for what Thomas Merton famously called our false selves. On the outside, there is a projection of greatness. It may be great terribleness, or it may be great charm, or accomplishment, or talent. But whatever form the greatness takes, it is meant as an exhibition of power. It is meant to keep other people away, or to control other people or to create a drama or conflict that allows us to remain at the center of a social setting. But behind a curtain somewhere, there is a deep-seated fear pulling all the levers and pushing all the buttons. The most difficult thing to realize is how much and how thoroughly we fool ourselves. Not only do other people think we are Oz, the great and terrible, but we think so too. For this meditation, I invite you to be conscious of yourself whenever you are slipping into the Oz, the great and terrible mode. This is whenever a feeling of conflict, anger, or contrariness, or conscientiousness rises up within you. Whenever you are possessed by thoughts or moods or desires or dreams, whenever you are thick inside, tumultuous, or feeling huge, whenever you feel this way, step back, look at yourself calmly, and say, Oz. In saying that one word, you are claiming a true awareness of your false self. You are seeing the powerful illusion that wants to sweep you and others into its energy. And you also see the craven fear that is making the pyrotechnics happen behind the curtains. Seeing all this, you can smile and say, Oz. This can be very hard to do. There are times when we desperately yearn to be enraged or carried away in some high mood. This mood makes us feel invulnerable, safe, and big. To look at it and say, Oz, drains it all of any power, a power we very much crave. In offering the image of Oz, the great and terrible, I hope to give you a tool for a little more leverage over your false self. Discover the power of the smile in dissolving what appears to be life-threatening drama. The drama isn't even there anymore. Breathing in, I calm my body. Breathing out, I smile. Breathing in, I see the great and terrible false self. Breathing out, I smile at it. Breathing in, I see the fear pulling the levers. Breathing out, I smile. All of this is done for Jesus. There are, after all, two things that Oz, the great and terrible, cannot do. He cannot be real, and he cannot pray. In letting the whole Oz self fall away, we feel our natural being, our soul's essence, in Julian's terms, where we are already praying, already one with God. This is the great simplicity that is our natural state and the core of our being. I hope you have a blessed day and, and have the opportunity to feel who you truly are as God's child. Not Oz, but whatever Jesus has called you to be. May you go forth in peace. Amen. Oh,